Hey YouTube, I'm MJ with Spilling Teas and today I am going to show you how to screen print using Explorer Air 2 and your heat press. Screen printing has been around forever but it's new to me. I've never done it before so you're going to witness me doing the whole process. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Thank you for your support. I hope I keep making things that you want to see and if you're here for the first time, Welcome, and I really hope you consider subscribing. The first thing you're going to get is some permanent vinyl. And I'm using the dollar store vinyl because it's cheap. You don't, I don't like wasting things. You're going to need your clear transfer paper. Going to need some scissors. You need your weeding tool. I don't know the name of this, but you're going to need this. It comes in your weeding tool kit. You're going to use this to burnish the vinyl down onto the screen. You're going to need some painter's tape. You need the squeegee. This is to uh, maneuver the paint around on the screen. And here's the screen printing screen we're going to use. Of course, you're going to need your paint. It comes in a set. Okay, so anyway, my logo is only two colors, red and blue. I'll just be using two of those. And so I'll have the list in the description below along with links if you want to purchase these things. Now, I might get a commission. I might not. I don't know. If you do purchase from the links, leave me a comment. Let me know. And I'll let you know if I get a commission or not. So... Stick around, don't go anywhere. Let's see what all the hype is about with this screen printing. Let's get started, shall we? My bad, I forgot two more things that you need, or a few more things, I should say. You wanna get you something to put your squeegee in or on after you uh, maneuver the paint with it so that you won't get it on your desk or whatever that you don't want to get paint on. You also want to get a spatula or a plastic throwaway spoon, something to scoop the paint out and again, something to put that in or a plastic plate, whatever. Anyway, okay, that's all you need. Alright, since I have two colors, I need to slice the blue word spilling out because in the software it is connected as one image. In the right panel, I will delete the slice images that I do not need. Now I will make the registration marks. I use them as a guide to line up several layers, or in this case, to level the two words, spilling teas.
this is a print and cut image. I have to change it to a cut image since I'm using vinyl. And here I have to change my colors back to what they were. Now select all of your registration marks together, attach them, then duplicate a set for however many colors you are working with. I have two colors, so I will make two sets. Select one of your colored images and one set of the registration marks. Attach them together, then move them to the side. Do the same for the remaining colors. Make sure to save your work. Now it's time to make it. For screen printing, we will mirror the image. We need the sticky backing of the vinyl to stick to the back of the screen. Lay your permanent vinyl color side up. This is called reverse weeding. We're going to weed out everything we would normally keep. With this method, we need the paint to seep through these open spaces. Don't forget to weed out your registration marks. Roll out your transfer paper and lay the vinyl colored side down on top of it. Cut off the excess tape and smooth it out with your scraper.
Now it's time to peel off the backing of the vinyl and transfer it to the back of the screen. The back of the screen is on the opposite side of the Speedball logo. Smooth it out with your hands and the scraper once more, being careful not to press too hard on your screen to prevent from poking through it. Take your painter's tape and tape a border around the inside of the screen so the paint will not seep into the cracks and onto your garment. We're going to press the garment for 5 seconds to remove any moisture. Put a piece of craft paper underneath in case any paint was to seep through the garment. Get your index cards, cut them in half, and place each piece underneath each registration mark that you made. Make sure you tape them down with your painter's tape. Then peel the transfer paper from the back of the vinyl. Line up your screen, make sure that each index card shows through the registration marks. Pour a nice amount of paint onto the top of the screen. If you pour too much, you can always scoop it back into your container. Take your squeegee and start at the top of your screen, apply a little pressure, and drag it toward the bottom of the screen. Do this until your design is fully covered. Make sure your registration marks are filled in. Slowly lift up your screen. I went to wash off my tools to get ready for the next paint color and when I came back, the paint was dry to the touch. Now it's time for the second color. Make sure to align the registration marks on the vinyl to the ones you made on the index cards. Repeat the process. 
Apply your second color the same as the first color, making sure the design is completely covered. No paint seeped through this particular fabric. Now I'm going to lay the garment under the heat press and allow the heat from the top plate to dry the paint. I am not closing my heat press at this time. Here I'm just removing a piece of vinyl that I left on by mistake. Grab your tissue paper and lay it over the top of your design. Press the garment for about 15 seconds. There you have it. The job is complete. That is how you screen print. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Until next time, have a wonderful day.